Ooh, it's an Edgar. All right, Edgar, please get stunned. What's up, zombie slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Seven Days to Die. Is it Hype Train still? I mean, it's like my third series. Um, this alpha's been out for like 15 months. Hype Train! Let's play. That's right, guys. We're back on Vanilla. Vanilla is always a hype train. You know, I gotta say, um, you know, with how long uh, last season went, I was starting to feel the, the 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 burnout, right? And I'm just like, ah, you know, like, I'm like, oh my god, this is like, why is Alpha 17 taking so long? And I, it was getting to me, you know? Um, I always think I put up a good video. I always think I felt kind of fun. But, like, you know, I was just like, okay, we're going to play another Seven Days to Die. I always have a good time playing Seven Days to Die, but it was getting to be... Um, a bit of a problem. I gotta tell you, nothing solves the, the Seven Days to Die burnout like a fresh world, right? Even, even with Alpha uh, 17 uh, taking so long, uh, this fresh world has been, a, a, well, it's been a breath of fresh air. I've been having such a good time with it. I am I couldn't wait to get home and record another episode today. Then that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be recording another episode here at our future home. Let's just take a little look at right now before we start building, because I'm telling you right now, this is going to change. This is all going to change. I don't love this biome. Like, I really don't love this biome. But, you know, overall, I'm okay with it. We're going to stay on the roof for the time being till we can knock out some stairs and get down below all situated. Um, let me do some inventory management here, and then we are going to get out there. And what we're going to be doing is we are going to be looting the bookstore. That's right, guys, because we did find a bookstore, which kind of saved this town a little bit for me. I mean, this town's kind of still kind of meh, you know? But um, that bookstore really, really did help. So uh, let's go ahead and put down our bedroll. Oh, this place. This place is so cool. I've always wanted to build at this place. Always. And I've just never, like, found one at the right time. But, um, yeah, this is going to be awesome. We're not going to bring the torch. I'm going to try and leave as much stuff as I can. Why didn't I buy coffee at the last, uh, at the trader? Because I didn't think about it. I totally forgot. Um, also, where are we going to put our skills? I think toolsmithing is the place to put our five points. And um, let's get down. Try not to hurt ourselves. There we go. And let's get going. All we're going to have to do is break out the stairs right here. And then we get, we have this whole upper floor to ourselves. It's going to be awesome. Well, except for the zombies we have to clear out. But oh, hold on. I could rectify that right now. There we go. Boom. Coffee, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, someone was... I, it was funny, like, after... When I was watching back the video after recording it, I was like, Ah, Cage, why didn't you get the coffee? And then, sure enough, someone uh, left me a message. Cage, why didn't you get the coffee? And, you know, I didn't get the coffee. What are you gonna do? God, this game is so good. I've mentioned this before, somewhat recently, so I hesitate to mention it again. But I'm gonna mention it again, because it's important to me. Um, I really wish I could zap... Uh, thingy zappy myself and forget about this game completely. Although, I guess as a YouTuber, I, you know, do somewhat well with it because I kind of know what I'm doing. So maybe that wouldn't be good for my YouTube career. But, man, I would love to just forget about this game and just be able to go into it again for the first time. I mean, like, if you spring, if you sprung this game on me out of nowhere, you know, where I am right now in my life, um, I would be so thrilled. This is, this is the game. I mean, it's got everything I like. It's got everything I like in it. It's got zombies, it's got base defense, it's got crafting, it's got tower defense, it's got building, it's got survival. I mean, honestly, this game seriously, seriously just has it all. Um, and um, I really wish I could just come into it again for the first time. I really do. Except for the fact that my YouTube videos would suffer because they'd be like, everyone would be like, Cage, what the hell? I thought you knew about this game. You don't know jack shit. <laughs> well, there's my uh, there's my curse word for the, for the day. I can't do another one. I'm going to get demonetized. So, got to be careful about that. Boom! Oh, she didn't care. Boom! Come on, lady. Let's dance. I'm leading. Hey! I said I'm leading! Oh, boy. Okay. She's not having any of it. She wants to lead. Alright, you want to lead? You can lead. But I'm going to win. You can lead, but I'm going to win. Come out here. Get over here. We got to put that point in a pummel peat, guys. Maybe I should have put it in a pummel peat instead of tool crafting. I'm not really sure. I'd really like to get a forge up today, too. Although, clear at the bookstore... I might have trouble doing both. All right, come on. With your awful freaking awful layout. Eh, it's not all. It's pretty awful, I guess. That's getting fixed, though. All right. You know what? Come out here. I'm just going to break this. She's getting on my nerves. Okay. Get out here. I want to have a talk with you. Boom. Oh, man. That freaking... That arm is taking a lot of punishment. 
There you go. That's what you get. Also, the bow, the bow shooting, the bow aiming or whatever, the bow play in this game is better than so many, so many other games. Maybe all other games. Um, I've been messing around with bows in a couple other games I've been playing, like uh, Mist and, um, uh, well, Mist, Green Hell. Um, damn it, this is dark. I should have brought that damn torch. All right, well, okay. I'm going to brighten this up in post. Um, anyway, I've been playing a lot of other games of bow mechanics, and they're all really good games. I mean, Mist, Green Hell, uh, Hold Your Own, they're all phenomenal games. Just phenomenal games. But, but... I'm having a real hard time with their bow mechanics. Um, and then I come and play Seven Days to Die, and I'm like, wow, man, these, this is just, this is just, it's the best. It really is. The bow mechanics in this game are hands down the best of any survival game I've ever played. I think Rust has really good bow mechanics as well. Um, but, yeah, I don't really play Rust because I'm not a big PvPer. But, yeah, just love the bow in this game. It's so nice where the arrows actually go where you're aiming. I mean, it seems like a small thing, but... When you play a game where the arrows don't go where you're aiming, yet, I mean, they're early access games. I'm not talking crap about them. I love both of them. I mean, play them all. Um, oh, nice. All right, come on. There you go. There you go. And now you're dead. 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 There we go. All right, blunt weapons, too. We got some bullets off her. That's nice. Oh, look at you. Look at you. You thought I didn't see it, did you? Well, I almost didn't, but I did. We gotta get a better club too. I can make up. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Maybe I shouldn't even bother making the uh, the reinforced club since I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna have a forge tonight. Hopefully, I'm gonna have to collect some uh, some materials. <clears throat> Need some clay, some stone, some leather, and a couple pipes. But I think we could probably do it. To it. Man, these these bookcases are crap. Ugh, stop! Don't start on me like that. By the way, we are gonna go blunt in this season because I think Blunt has a higher stun chance or something than uh, than uh, Bladed and I like to be able to stun the enemies. It's very important to me. Oh, man. I mean, I'm glad I'm getting some armor, but not really what I wanted. Okay, well. Should we loot the rest of this place? I am not going to loot the rest of... Okay, I don't know why there's guys spawning in here when I just, I just came down here, but... Um, we do have to clean out the zombies, though, because I do want to get the... Uh, we're going to hit the black couches... And that's going to get us some much-needed leather for the bellows so we can make a forge tonight. Also, we might want to think about getting a... Um, man, I really can't see anything here. Uh, we might want to think about getting enough leather for a uh, poncho as well. Come on! Get out of here, you freaking zombies! Ah, whatever. It's experience. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. Still got nothing good for me, huh? Well, screw you, pal. All right, guys, we are still in the cracker book, man. Um, yeah, the uh, the zombies just keep spawning in here, man. Like, I broke into the back room. Now I didn't go into the back room before, so it makes sense that there's still be zombies back there. But I've got zombies in here, like that keeps. Did she get up? There was a uh, cheerleader in that corner. Now I'm not seeing her. I'm not sure if she got up or if she despawned. Not really sure. Come on, seriously. Where are you going? There you go. That's what you get. Time to finish you off. Now, give me a mining helmet. Oh, that's not a mining helmet. Actually, I should probably loot these. Wait, is there a zombie coming at me? Yeah, don't turn don't turn your back or your side to a door. Because zombies could run out of there and hit you while you're trying to loot stuff. Alright, so we got to clear this place out, man. Like, there's just freaking zombies everywhere. Place is infected. Literally and figuratively. Oh, boy. There you go. You don't want to get hit by this guy because I think he has a higher chance to uh, infect you. Because he's a dirty, dirty man. Thing. Zombie. I don't know. Creature. Enemy. Force of nature. I don't know. Whatever you want to call him. Oh. A map. That is actually quite nice. That is actually quite nice. Alright. Let's peek our heads in. Yep. We got another guy coming out. Alright. Let's... I don't know what the hell I was stuck on, but... We're going to use the bow on this guy because he's pissing me off. Um, also, you know, using a wooden club and not having the uh, Pummel Pete perk is just, you know, it just takes a long time to kill them. And I kind of want to get this. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. All right. So let's come on in here. Now I don't have to brighten up the videos anymore. So that's going to be awesome. Let's see what else we got in here. I really want to get done with this and get some uh, get some stuff for the forge. I really want to get a forge tonight, but man, we're really we're really kind of pushing it here. 
Uh, there we go. I don't know if there's any more zombies alive in there. I think there is. Or, you know, figuratively alive. Whatever, whatever. I usually end up uh, with a better chance of getting books in these bookcases than I do in the, um, well, in these, like, book boxes. What are they called? Yeah, uh, bookstore box. Then I do the bookcases. Although, I don't know, man. Uh, luck does not seem to be with me today. I mean, I got the shotgun schematic, which is a key schematic, but it's not like the auger or the... Or the um, well, actually, be besides the auger and the mini bike, what do you think the third most important schematic would be? Good question. I mean, shotgun schematics right up there. Oh, those are those are good schematics too. I think I've got all the major gun schematics now. Okay. Uh, do we want to break in there? Um, I guess I'll break in here. Actually, you know what? There's nothing in here. Ah, whatever. There's not much in here. There's a gun safe. I'm not gonna break into the gun safe until I get quality Joe one. Now, gun safes... No, it's not a gun safe, actually. It's a wall safe. I call them gun safes because a lot of times they have guns in them. Um, the wall safes can have guns or schematics. So, the wall safes are probably worth breaking into no matter what. But I want to wait until I have better tools because it just takes too long. Um, you know, and I got to do some time management here, so... I'll break into here, though, because there's a couple things in here I might want to loot. Like this and the desk. Okay, and there's the safe. We'll break into that at another time. All right, so another thing I want to show you guys is where to get leather. I'm going to be playing this uh, Let's Play like new people are watching, even though I don't really know that. But um, this is where you get the leather. We're just going to get 20 leather. We're going to get the hell out of here. Then we're going to get some stone, some clay. Um, I think we might as well break into the bathroom and get uh, some pipes. Let's go ahead and read some of these just to make inventory space. I'm going to read all of these, but, you know. Um, oh, that's an actual... Yeah, I already took that off. We'll put that on. Where... And we'll read that. I'm going to read all these, but I, I'm just kind of in a time crunch. I'll read them at night, you know? So we're just going to keep going until we get 20 leather. What we'll do is we'll put the... Oh, we already got 20 leather. Okay, let's just finish that. And we do have a bathroom over here. We do need two pipes. We need one for the bellows, I think. Do we need a pipe for the bellows? Bellows. Two L's. Yep, that's what I thought. So we're going to break in here. I'm going to get two pipes. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to go out and I'm going to get at least 50 clay and 50 stone. And then that will be all we'll need for the forge. Hopefully I don't get jumped in here. All right, guys. I'm just out here gathering materials. And I just realized it's nighttime. So we got to get inside, man. Zombies will be running. I'm low on stamina. I did put another point in a minor 69er, which was very, very helpful. Um, I'd like to, if I can, maybe start a mine tonight. Um, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Yeah, starting a mine tonight might be, might be, uh, a bit risky. But, I don't know, maybe I can do it. Let's see. This is not the way I wanted to get up here, by the way. Um, but, gotta do what you gotta do, right? Okay, so, just so nobody can get up here. Um, let's just grab that last one out. That one, and that one. Okay, we're safe. We're safe up here. Um, yeah, I'd like to start a mine, but um, I'd have to get to the bottom floor, you know, with my crappy skills and my <laughs> my next point's definitely going into uh, into Pummel Pete. So, all right, well, uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves the bellows. We'll be the bellows of the ball, and then we will make a forge. I think we have everything we need for the forge. Yep. All right, so we're gonna make a bellows and a forge. I should also make a campfire. Oh, do I have the stone? Yeah, I got plenty of stone. No, actually, I don't. If I make a campfire, I can't make... No, I can still make them. I can make them both. Yeah, because I only need 50 for the forge. Wow. I'm glad I kept collecting even after I thought I was done. Um, all right, cool. So I'm going to make all this stuff, and then I'm going to get to work on tools. And I don't have a lot of iron, but I'm going to... Actually, I could do that right now. Well, uh, nah, I'm going to wait. Basically, what I want to do is I want to make the, um, the club, the... Bar the uh, iron reinforced club, but then now that I'm thinking about it, I could make the barbed club. The thing with the barbed club is I'm gonna need more forged iron, and I think I'd rather use the iron on my tools. Yeah, I think I'd rather use the iron on the tools. Let me go ahead and get some. Uh, let me get this forge running and get some forged iron out, and I'm gonna make something, probably some tools. All right, this thing up here all night is is for the birds. It's boring. I'm gonna go down and do something. Um, this is my little setup right here. Got my campfire. No cooking pot yet. Um, got my forge. Only got about uh, a bit of forge iron out of it. We definitely have to farm up some more materials. Uh, my number one uh, priority is going to be able to is going to be to get a pick and a cooking pot tomorrow. Um, but I think I'm going to do some looting right now. 
Um, I did go ahead and make a iron reinforced club. I made a new bow. I don't know why I made a new bow. I think I thought that um, my new bow was going to be better, but I forgot I did toolsmithing and not weaponsmithing. So it is what it is. So let's just uh, put this down right here. And right. Actually, no, not like this. There, there. Pick that one up. We're definitely going to be in some combat here. I mean, I don't. Oh, boy. That's not someone to mess with right now. Yeah, um, I, I kind of want him out of there, though, like, oh, boy, it's going to be tough. I got to get him out of there. Uh, that is a, um, a biker zombie, and he's kind of a badass. Uh, normally, I wouldn't be worried about him, um, not even during the day, but th when he can run on day two, and I don't have Pummel Pete, <laughs> yeah, you know, no guns. Eh, I'm going to take him seriously. Actually, I do have some guns. Problem is, if I use guns, it's going to wake up everybody. Um, oh no, I, that's right. I didn't get any guns. I got, I got gun schematics. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. All right, we got to get some guns. All right, well, we're going to try and kill this guy from up here where he can't get to us. Where was I breaking out? Oh, I'm on the wrong side. I was breaking out right here. All right, let's see if we can get rid of this ass clown. Uh, I really like the, I, I want to break out those. Tomorrow, my goals are cooking pot, more materials to, to cook with, to, um, to craft with like, um, iron and stuff. And uh, I want to break out the stairs so I can have this whole second level. Okay, so now that he's up, maybe he'll just run off. Okay. Hmm, where'd he go? Oh, he's right there. Alright, let's see if we can get this guy. Shooting him in the big toe isn't gonna do anything. You gotta, you gotta hit him in at least, at least the body. Um, I don't even, I don't even know if the zombies. T Ooh, construction skill for this. I didn't know that. Um, I don't even think zombies take damage unless you hit them in the body or the head. I don't think their limbs, like, take overall hit point damage. Well, I could be wrong about that. Right, let's, let's, uh, let's see if we can hit this guy. Maybe we'll shoot him in the groin. That'll teach him. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. No, why did I... I went to switch items, so I didn't use the arrow, and I ended up healing myself. Oh, that's annoying. Damn it. My only freaking bandage. Oh, he fell. Okay, that's what I was hoping he would do. Is he going to climb back up? See, that I don't know. No, whatever. Let's go down there and see what's what. I can't believe I used that bandage. That, that, is, that is very disappointing. Okay, there we go. We got a hat, but we don't need a hat. Um, we got boots. I don't like boots. Okay, well, at least we looted something. Let's break in here. Oh, by the way, um, when I was in the bathroom at the um, at the uh, the, the 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 bookstore, I actually got a wrench out of the uh, cabinet, which was cool. The uh, you get wrenches out of um, out of the sinks, like this right here. Sometimes you get wrenches. The fact that I got a yellow one is really good. Really good. Alright, you know what we need to do? We need to make another bandage just in case we start bleeding. This bandage will not heal me, but it will stop bleeding. So, I can't believe I used that bandage. I'm so freaking disappointed in myself. Okay. Um, can we wrench that bed? I think we can. Is it worth it? Probably not, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, okay, we're getting some iron. It's cool. So we got another big dude back down there. I'm not sure if it's the biker guy again or Should we break into here without any shenanigans. Sounds like there's someone right next to me. This is really stupid, by the way. I should not be doing this. I really, really should not be doing this. But gotta make I, I didn't want to sit through the night, man. I didn't want to sit through the night. My last world got me. My last world got me spoiled. I was on like day 105 or something, and um, you know I haven't had to sit through a night forever. I've always had something to do during the night, but you know, so that spoiled me. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and wear this, scrap that, and then we're gonna use that to repair this. Cause um, these puffer coats sell for a good amount of money. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna sell it or not. I might want to keep it in case I go into, like, um, you know, some kind of cold biome, but I'm not sure. 
It'd be nice to have the option. Okay, let's try and be sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Maybe we should try and take out those stairs. Do we take it? Do you think we could take out those stairs without getting ourselves killed? Probably not. Probably not. I should probably wait until I have a hammer, um, a proper axe, before I try and take out the stairs. I don't wear overalls, so you guys can just forget about that. I think I'm gonna go try and take out the stairs after this room. I'm just kind of curious if I can do it. Okay. Oh, pills. That's good. All right, let's let's give it a shot. Oh, it's an Edgar. All right, Edgar. Please get stunned. Thank you. By the way, when they fall down like that, that's a stun. It's just a stun that looks cooler. Oh, cool. Good level up. Good level up. I earned that one. All right, so what I'm going to do next is... Oh, do I want to do Pummel... Man, there's so many things I want to put my points into. Pummel Pete, I think, is probably the way to go. Although, weaponsmithing is pretty good, too. I'm going to go Pummel Pete, because it's the first thing I was thinking about. Alright, I'm going to pre-apologize for the darkness, but I need to be a sneaky, sneaky ninja here. So, I'm going to try and take out these stairs. black screen for you guys but this is pretty intense i think even if you can't quite see what i'm doing but i'm just breaking on stairs and i think this is pretty crazy pretty fun i think one more set of stairs will probably have me safe once i'm safe i can loot up here that's the whole idea i'm gonna take out this set i'm gonna take out the the other one next to it and then i'm going to put some wooden frames up and then i'll have this hole upstairs to myself except for the zombies that are already here i've already been into two rooms and there was no zombies in them so hopefully there won't be any zombies in any other rooms but we'll have to see about that okay and there we go this is good because that was something i was planning on doing tomorrow and i already got it done oh there's a zombie in there obviously so we take that out. We put this up. And um, I think we'll be okay up here now. At least from the zombies downstairs. So. And that's all you could really ask for. What's in this room? Oh. Here we go. Oh. It looked like there was maybe two in there. No. There's only one. Okay. Alright. Let's just wait here. Get some stamina. Maybe take a shot. Aim up a little bit. Not too bright, is she? Oh, she didn't get stunned. She didn't get stunned. She got stunned there. Ah! Get stunned! Jeebus! Man! What a pain in the ass! Um, I do have a pill I could take to get my hit points back. I'm not going to, though. Because um, if I do, I will get super thirsty, and thirst is an issue. Oh, it's daytime. Oh, thank thank the Lord. Thank Jeebus. Oh, my God. What a, what a crazy night. Well, guys, I think we're pretty much set up. Tomorrow is going to be all about getting a cooking pot, getting materials to start building. I'm not going to wait so long to build my base. I'm probably going to start building relatively soon. But we really have to worry about thirst at this point. Now, you can always you can always fill up jars with water, but I'm going to try and get a cooking pot. I really don't want to have to fill up jars with water. Um, we might not have we might not have a um, a choice, though. We'll see what we get tomorrow. Anyway, guys, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and until then, take it easy.